What's up, y'all? Y'all like hip-hop? Everybody like hip-hop? Yeah. I like hip-hop, but I don't support it. Can't. I support my local African bootlegger. You know the Africans? CD, DVD, five dollar. Two CD, five dollar. CD, DVD, talk book, all five dollar. <laughs> you know the Africans, right? They got the CDs and DVDs out on the blanket. The blanket, like, is the store. <laughs> everybody, everybody, like, yo, support the artists, support the record labels. I'm like, fuck that, man. The record labels are rich. They own a record label. <laughs> the Africans only own the blanket. <laughs> CD, DVD, pocketbook, all. Five dollars. I think in Africa, everything is five dollars. <laughs> And Mercedes Benz, five dollar. <laughs> Big house in the country, five dollar. Uh, only, only in New York can you roll up on a store, you know the blanket, <laughs> and the store owner like not be there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like you roll up, you see like a blanket with like 300 CDs and DVDs, but there's no African. <laughs> You're like, where's the African? And just when you're about to bend down and check out a CD or DVD, all of a sudden you hear a voice behind you, CD, DVD, five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> the African is like 10 yards down the block, camouflage into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that, African? How did you camouflage into the wall? Those are the good bootleggers, though, you know what I'm saying? If you go shop bootleggers, those are the bootleggers to go to, you know? The bad bootleggers are the Chinese ladies downtown. Uh, <laughs> The Chinese ladies downtown, they don't know what the fuck they're selling. You know what I'm saying? Right? Everybody know? And you go to the Africans, they're like, yo, you got the new Jay-Z? Right away. You're like, yes, Jay-Z, he'll fight that up. Yeah, right away. <laughs> you go to the Chinese lady downtown, you're like, yo, you got the new Jay-Z? She's like, whatever you see here. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, you got the new 50 cent? No 50 cent, five dollar. <laughs> CD, five dollar. That's bad sales. You know what I'm saying? That's terrible marketing. No. <laughs> you never see that with like a weed dealer, you know? Weed dealers are good salesmen. Great marketing. Like a weed dealer, even if a weed dealer got some like bullshit regular weed, they like make up a name for it to make it sound hype. You know? <laughs> They're like, yo, what you got? Yo, I got. Arizona gold. <laughs> Yo, I got blueberry bubblegum hydro. <laughs> That's my weed, anybody smell weed? Holla! Holla. Yeah. Ah. I like that, man, this crowd got energy. Usually in the comedy club, you're like, anybody smell weed? And everybody that smells weed is already high on weed. Uh. <laughs> uh, I, I used to smoke a lot of weed. You know, you know, you know, you smoke too much weed when you're as white as me, but you spend so much time in the weed spots uptown that you actually become Dominican. <laughs> <laughs> and by the end of high school, I was going in the weed spot uptown. I was like, "Oh yeah, papi, dame un cinco y dame dos Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, dame los plátanos ya, porque me gusta totone mucho. Oh yeah, dímelo. That's Dominican for nothing. They just say, say nothing going on. Oh, you're demon. <laughs> but. Yeah, I know the weed spot is, right? Everybody know what the weed spot is? <laughs> They're like, yeah, I own one. <laughs> <laughs> we spot like a bodega that's kind of like a grocery store. <laughs> Except it's missing one key element. <laughs> Groceries! <laughs> 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 You go in the weed spot and they got like one bottle of soda in the fridge. They're like, yo, Poppy, can I get that bottle of Pepsi? Like, no, Poppy, that's the bodega. You take that, no more bodega. I would always go in the weed spots uptown, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no thug or nothing, but I'm Jewish. Uptown, you get more bang for your buck. 
We cheap. <laughs> but I, got, I got so much attention though, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in the block like, yo, white boy, white boy, white boy. Yo, come here, you give me the money, I'll go upstairs, I'll be right back. I was like, yeah, I'm not falling for that shit again. <laughs> but ra racial profile always works in white people's favor, right? It always does. Because the first time I go in the weed spot of town, and I'm white, what does the dude think I am? A cop, right, because all white people are cops. <laughs> the first time I go in the weed spot, a Dominican dude in the back, he like, he rolling a blunt. You know, he's like, he like, yo, he like, yo, yo, white boy, white boy, how I know that you cool? And I'm like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> he's like, all right, so you prove to me that you cool, I'm gonna make you smoke this blunt with me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me smoke the blood. <laughs> Evil weed spot, man. <laughs> so every time I went that weed spot, I just dressed up like a different white boy. Uh, yo, how you know I'm cool, yo? <laughs> yo, my name is Sauce, y'all. Enjoy the rest of the show.